Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Respected brothers and sisters, I welcome you all to this channel. Uh, today I have a good news for those who are dreaming to further their education in the United Arab Emirates. Al Qasimiyah University uh, admission has been open for new applicants. So today, inshallah, I want us to go through step-by-step -step procedure on how to apply for the scholarship. Uh, first of all, uh, if you have a Google Chrome or Google or Microsoft Edge, you will just go there and write the link or type Al Qasimiyah University. You are going to type it inside Google and it will open. So let's go and write it. Al Qasimiyah University. This is Al Qasimiyah University. So when you write it, type enter. Something is wrong. Let's wait. Al Qasimiyah University. So when it open like this, you will see something like admission. Uh, so you click it. So let's change it to English. So when you enter the their website, this is what you are going to see. This is the page that you are going to see when you just enter the website. So when you want to know more about the university, so you come here and read what is there. So this is about the admission conditions and requirements. This is where you can find it. This is academics. This is campus life. When you want to know uh, the life in the campus, you come here and read more about it. So today we want to go through about how to apply to the scholarship or to the university. So here we need to know about the conditions or the requirements uh, before we can apply. So let's click here and read about the requirements. So we have opened a new page and this page is going to give us some uh, information about the requirements. So let's concentrate. Here we have admission requirement and they write first colleges and programs. First of all, we need to know the colleges in the university so that you will know the college that you will, you will enroll yourself or you will apply for. We have College of Holy Quran. We have College of Sharia and Islamic Studies. We have College of Arts and Humanities. And we have College of Communication. We have College of Economics and Management. So these are the five colleges in the university. And when you finish studying four years, they are going to give you a bachelor degree certificate in the university. So here this uh, second language of instructions, of language of instruction. So the language that they use, the lecturers use to teach students. Uh, here they wrote the language for instruction at the College of Sharia and Islamic Studies, College of Arts and Humanities, and College of Holy Quran is Arabic. So they use Arabic to teach students in, the, in, the, in, in these three colleges, College of Quran, College of Sharia, College of Arts and Humanities. And the two colleges, College of Communication and College of Economics and Management, they use Arabic and English. They use Arabic and English to teach. So you have to, or you, it is a must that you understand these two languages before, before you can enroll on uh, these two colleges. But if you just understand Arabic only, you can enroll on these three colleges. So let's go. You have the admission requirement for Arabic academic programs. So what are the uh, requirements if you want to apply to this university? What are the requirements? First, holders of secondary school certificate. First of all, you need to hold a certain, you need to successfully complete a secondary school and get a certificate. For, for example, when you have a white certificate, you can apply for this, uh, University. When you have Ambaria certificate, Nuria certificate, Nahada certificate, or Azhari certificate, you can apply. When you have a secondary school certificate, you can apply for this uh, university. A minimum 
average of at least 70% is required for admission in the programs offered by College of Holy Quran, College of Sharia. So these three colleges, these three colleges, your aggregate should be 70% and above before you can apply or before you can get uh, admission to that uh, university. But for the College of Arts and Economics and Management and College of Communication, the aggregate should be 75% and above. So these are the conditions. So let's come student specific information. So the things that you need uh, in the admission application, students should uh, prioritize the program they want to study by starting their preferences. So you need to choose a college that you will want to study in the university when you have been given admission. So these are the requirements. You have to go through them, understand them before you can apply. So requirement documents. What are the documents you will need to uh, upload into the website when you are applying? Original secondary school certificate, original uh, transcript for grade 10 and 11 and 12. So this one, what it means is that when you have your first year second year and third year transcripts in the secondary school you need to have it but unfortunately some of the african countries they only give you a uh, transcripts for uh, your third year when you are in uh, third year in sss they will just give you the transcript for that but you won't get a, a first year and second year so this is just a big uh, trouble for some of the african countries we don't have a first year and second year transcripts but the other requirement is that you need to have first year second year and third year transcripts plus the certificate for is translation of foreign certificate into arabic so when your certificate is in english you need to translate it into arabic you need to translate it into arabic before you can apply all your documents should be in arabic so if uh, your certificate your transcripts your birth certificate everything that they demanded should be in Arabic if it is in English language or French or a, a, a German language or any language in the world apart from Arabic you need to translate it to Arabic before you can apply translation of passport everything you need to translate it in Arabic so these are the documents that they needed it's about 14 documents you need to prepare them before you can apply So now, let's come here and see what they have for us, how to apply. This is what we want to uh, go through, how to apply uh, to the university. And we have to click here, and a new page will open for us. So admission and registration. So here we have a new page, the road requirement documents. One, the original secondary certificate, the original transcripts for the secondary stage grade uh, year one, year two, and year three. Endorsement of all the requirement certificate from the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in the country of uh, of the country where you acquired uh, the certificate. You need to make endorsement of that certificate at the Ministry of Education. You need to go and do endorsement legal translation of non emirate certificate we have explained this so here the required document we have explained it. you have to go through it but what i want us to concentrate here is a copy of student passport valid for not less than one year so this passport that we are going to use to apply this scholarship it should not less than it should not be less than one year to expire is supposed to be one year and more but if it is less than one year you cannot use it to apply note that the university will not look at your application if you fail to uh, apply their rules if you fail to read and understand and just do what they ask you to do and just apply it anyhow they will not look at your application 
you will just waste your time, apply, and they will not give you admission. So be careful and read everything, understand it before you start the application. Here they say the instructions. They will give you instruction when you apply. Applic applicant must fill all the stead hash items, stressing that incomplete application will not be considered. I have already said this. So whenever you see this, in, when we are filling the forms and you see this thing, this hash, you must fill it. You cannot leave it like that blanket. You have to fill anything. You have to fill it. But if you leave it, the university will not uh, look at your application. So you need to be very careful. Concerning the requirement credential, all the documents to be downloaded must be colorful and obvious. So all your documents should be photo uh, should be scanned, colored, and good looking before you can upload it. And it should be in the form of PDF. All the documents should be in the P PDF form, except your passport picture. The passport picture should be in picture form. And in the size of three times four, the size should be three times four. And the background of the picture should be white. The background of your passport picture should be white. So after we have just go through this, you have to go, uh, read everything before you start the application. I just summarize what uh, they have for us. So after you finish reading, you come and click here. You come and click here. Register now. So we are now in another uh, new page in our uh, application process. So they have they give us uh, seven good steps. The step that we are going to we are going through uh, for the application. Hand one we have instruction two programs three personal information four contact information five qualifications six language uh, proficiency seven other documents. So these are the uh, steps that we are going through to, for the application. Application is permitted for resident outside UNA. So these are for international students for, uh, only. The application is open for international students only. So we have already went through all these uh, information. Uh, instruction, we have already go through it. Programs, we have explained it. So now we are coming to personal uh, information, personal information. Please fill at least three majors and the priority in admission will be to the first major if conditions are met and uh, seats are available. So first, you have to choose a college that you will, you will want to enroll yourself, uh, College of Communication. From this uh, list, you are going to choose one and choose a course, or you are going to write a course or the department you want to uh, get in. Here, you are going to select uh, second college that you if you don't get this one maybe you get this one if you don't get this one you get this one so you select another one here come here and write the department so here we are going to fill personal information personal information we are going to write your full name in english here full name in arabic the name here written here should be the same written here don't write something here and come and write different in here you need to let the names match here in English, here in Arabic, here you are going to choose your nationality, here previous nationality, here you are going to write your passport number, here place of birth, passport expiring date, your country's national ID, so you are going to write, this one is not just necessary, but if you have it, you are going to write the national ID, if you have Ghana card, you are going to write the Ghana card number here, so here you are going to write your date of birth, Select the country of birth, gender, male or female, religion, uh, married, marital status. You are going to if you are married, you are going to pick married. If you are divorced, you are going to write. Are you a resident at the United Arab Emirates? If yes, you are going. So, have you ever uh, have you ever stands in the United Arab Emirates? If no, you write no. So this one they have already chosen it for you. So here a copy of valid passport for at least two years so if you scan your documents you are going to leave it in pdf form so you come here and click and upload the passport here you are going to upload your recent uh, passport picture 
you are going to upload your birth certificate you are going to upload your national uh, identity if you have a national identity card you are going to upload it here here you are going to write your family's information your father's full name your father's religion your mother's name your mother's religion uh, are you an employee if yes you pick yes do you have any special needs so you are going to pick a uh, special needs physical or learning disability if yes you have you, you are going to choose yes here so here contact uh, information you are going to fill in your contacts so that they if you are being able to give admission the university can communicate with you so here the university is uh, demanding your current country residence i'm going to choose your country here you are going to choose your residence here or write your residence your the area or the city that you are residing here you are going to write your PO box here your nearest airport if you are in Ghana you will write the protocol international airport here you are going to write email address and verify the email address if you have another email address you are going to write it here here you are going to write your contact your phone numbers so before you write the phone number you are, you are going to click here and change the country change the country code change the country before you can write the number change the country code so if you are in ghana you are going to search for ghana and change the country code so this is ghana when you click the code so you are going to do the same to all these things and write the number so here skype account the university is going to uh, most of their uh, informations are just published in skype facebook and twitter so they are demanding you to fill in your accounts give them your account details in skype facebook and instagram and twitter so you are going to click, give them the links to your accounts so that they can go to your information there and see uh, i don't know what they know they want about your facebook information but what i know is what most of their information have been published in skype uh, instagram and twitter so they demand you to give them your accounts uh, in this social media so qualification what are the qualification what are your qualifications secondary school certificate you are going to high school system you are going to choose it here high school score this your score in the university uh, in the secondary school so here high school name high school country you are going to select the country where the school is located high school city study language certificate uh, completion date the date that you have uh, con graduated from the secondary school and collect your certificate here you are going to upload the uh, certificates high school certificate you are going to upload it here uh, the transcript first year uh, first year transcript second year transcript and third year transcript you are going to upload them here so here if you have highlight uh, certificate if you have been reading the highlight exam and get a certificate you are going to upload it here but i encourage you that if you can write the exams and get the certificate it will help you to get admission to the university if you have other uh, qualification diploma or high diploma you can add it here but if you don't have you just leave it like that here the languages that you can speak very well arabic english Fra french so you choose it here if you understand arabic and english we are going to mark here and here if you understand all the language you are going to mark all number of years studying arabic you are going to choose it here write the number of years you have been studying arabic the name of the institute in which you study arabic you are going to write it here other documents letter of good behavior translated to arabic this one we call a recommendation letter you have to get yourself a recommendation letter upload it here health clearance uh, medical certificate you are going to upload it here uh, and the university is uh, there is some form two forms or three forms that you are going to fill uh, after the application upload them here you are going to upload that forms here you are going to upload that forms here click here to download so when you click here the forms will download you you do what you uh, fill everything in it and upload it here when you finish filling the form you are going to upload them uh, so when you just finish all these things I agree to the scholarship terms. You come and mark it here. I agree to the admission requirement. You come and mark it here. Here, I agree to the approve and pledge. 
to read the approve and pledge please click here if you read and understand the approval uh, and pledge so you are going to come here and do what and click so for that we have finished the application when you just do what we have just done you have finished the application like that so what is left is you come here and click submit so when you just click submit it will submit your application to the university and you will now be praying for allah to grant you uh, luck so that you gain scholarship to this university so i pray that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you success and grant you admission to this uh, university wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh don't forget to like subscribe to the channel for more videos wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh